Hi, I'm Gary Italiander, and in 2010 I was commissioned to photograph and to interview on film some of the legendary names from British football from the era of the 66 World Cup. Two of the players that really stood out for me were Gordon Banks and Peter Bonetti. They were real gentlemen and they were the best representation of English football. The commissioners of the work and myself felt that this was a very appropriate time to share with you a little bit of the film footage and some photographs that I took and we hope you enjoy them. Gordon, the, the profession of football has changed fairly dramatically since when, the time you were playing. What do you see as the major differences from that period? I think the two major differences are the pitches, uh, which are like Wembley Stadium now. The lovely grass, short, lovely cut grass, great great drainage so you don't get puddles and things of that nature like, like uh, and sludge like we used to play on. Uh, and secondly, the ball. The ball is much, much lighter than it was when we played. So an outfield player can, can ping it and, and shove it inside out with, with, with accuracy, uh, much, much easier than he could when, you know, the heavy ball is sticking in the mud and it's, it's round your feet and that sort of thing. The only thing that, that, that I dislike about it is it, it does not favour the goalkeeping position because it, the ball now, with it being lighter, moves in the air and uh, a goalkeeper now playing thinks that he is he, he's, he's leaping across his goal and he thinks I can catch this, I can catch this ball, I don't have to push it away and he goes to catch it and the ball moves slightly, it just varies a little bit, last minute and he couldn't, doesn't quite get his fingers onto it, his hands onto it then it bounces out and he's on the floor and uh, unfortunately it's, it's an easy goal for somebody running in and. Uh, it does not favour the goalkeeper at all. The ball. I, I feel. I do feel a little bit uh, sorry for the uh, goalkeeper playing today. Peter, with, um, of all the players that you played with, who stands out for you as a player? Very difficult this one because we had so many great players at Chelsea, very skillful players like the likes of Charlie Cook, Peter Osgood, Alan Hudson, Peter Houseman, people like that, like that had class and skill and all the rest of it. And, uh, and we had the likes of four good defenders who were strong tackling people, Eddie McCready, David Webb, John Dempsey and Ronnie Harris who were the, the backbone, who were the defenders, the tacklers, and then you had the, 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 the midfield people who could run all day, Johnny Hollins, Tommy Baldwin, people like that were the midfield grafters. And then we had this, some strong fellas up front, Ian Hudson was a strong fellow up front, played with Aussie as well. So we had a real blend in those days, and uh, to try and pick one out of all of them, I think we'd be an injustice to them really, but we had a great team in those days, and I must admit it's, um, it's great when we have our reunions from time to time.